Well, for many college basketball fans, it's the first time they're able to watch in-person games since the COVID-19 pandemic started. CBS 4's Courtney Crown went to Mackey Arena in West Lafayette and talked to excited fans who scored some tickets. Just over 1300 fans are allowed inside Mackey Arena to watch the tournament games. We spoke with some of the first people in line tonight and you guessed it. A lot of them were parents for them. This is more than just exciting to see the in person games. This is a dream come true. I am rooting for Wichita. Shocking, baby, all day, like that, all day. Wichita State's Trey and Trevin Wade brought a cheering section to Mackey Arena tonight. Their dads couldn't be prouder. Definitely excited. Wichita Shockers have got two kids on the team. We definitely excited. We missed March Madness last year, so it's kind of kicking back in, so we definitely excited. Standing just in front of the Wades was Drake's DJ Wilkins family. Uh, he's very excited, very excited to live his lifelong dream of uh, playing in March Madness. It's a wonderful thing. Mackey Arena could only fill to 9% capacity due to COVID-19 restrictions. Purdue freshman Abby Macknick and Celia Racine are glad they scored the tickets. It's a lot of fun because we weren't able to come to any of Purdue's actual games. So to have other teams here and be able to buy tickets is really exciting for us. I'm cheering for Wichita State. Yeah. <laughs> I, I followed them for a while and I really love like the NCAA tournament, so I'm very excited to be here. A year after COVID-19 canceled March Madness, fans are more grateful than ever for the games. Smaller crowds means they'll just have to cheer louder. It's really fun to see like some peers and stuff, you know, be able to play and get out on the court and cheer on the dogs. Signage like this is placed throughout Mackey Arena, reminding everybody to continue to stay safe with this pandemic. Now the tournament games continue here through Saturday. Reporting outside Mackey Arena tonight, Courtney Crown, CBS 4 News.